Well, let's move on here. Here we have testosterone we check for. We have DHEA. Uh, those are more pronounced in the male, but we do have some in the female. And uh, testosterone, DHEA are called androgens, and they give us our get up and go. Uh, they give us our strength. They give us motivation and drive. And so we always look at that uh, as well. Uh, now, in the, in the female, DHEA uh, can turn into testosterone. So um, I usually like to give women uh, DHEA and let the wisdom of their body turn it into how much testosterone they need. Because a lot of times women get side effects with plain testosterone and uh, especially when the other numbers are out of balance. So um, they can get side effects like hair on the chin or male pattern baldness such as that, even some acne. So uh, just using a DHEA and allowing the body to turn it into how much testosterone it needs makes a lot more sense. Uh, the other things that we look at here is cortisol. Now we can do one cortisol or we could do four. Cortisol is a stress hormone. It is released from the adrenal glands. And it is so important for ha handling day in and day out stress. Okay, adrenaline is for like fight or flight. You get in a car accident or you have to run from something. That's adrenaline. That, but cortisol is what we really look at because it's for, again, day in and day out stress, going to work, personal stress, stress on the body, all of this stuff. So we want to check that. And that tells us a lot about what's going on with the adrenal glands. Um, so if a, for instance, this particular test has a morning cortisol that is really high, uh, that cortisol, um, uh, the, the, um, the elevated cortisol in the morning is telling me that that person was probably flipping and flopping all night long, having uh, uh, insomnia. Uh, and they, when people wake up wired like that, they were releasing cortisol through the night and they probably didn't have that good deep sleep. Um, and sometimes what happens is the cortisol's really high at a certain part of the day and then it goes down really low because the adrenal glands uh, try to accommodate uh, the stressors of the individual during the day. <clears throat> but what happens is the adrenals can get tired if that cortisol is always on because the person's in stress most of the day. So a lot of times I will see the cortisol very high at a certain point of the day and then it's very low at another time. Um, and sometimes uh, the, there, there's what we call flat line in which the cortisol is low all of the time because the adrenals or an adrenal fatigue, they're very tired. There's, the adrenals are still producing cortisol, but at a much uh, lower amount. So these are all indications of the well-being of the patient by looking at all these hormone levels. And people love to see this because when we go through the testing and uh, we listen to what the symptoms are and we, and we see how the symptoms that uh, the testing results will line up with the symptoms and give us confirmation that the patient is really experiencing these signs and symptoms. I will have many of people have told me, um, Dr. Mark can tell it's not all in my head, is it? <laughs> and I'll say, no, it's not. We can confirm this with our hormone testing. And really, people are relieved to see this, even though the hormones are out of balance. They're very relieved to see that there's something there and there's something we can do. And again, it's a very sensitive test, very precise. And thus, I, like I said, I can give a very precise protocol for that particular patient. All right, if we go.